Hello and welcome to this course. In this course, we will build a classified advertisement website with React and Firebase, where users will be able to buy and sell products. So this is the project we are going to build. And before I walk you through the demo, I would like to talk about the prerequisites of this course. This will be a project based course. So you must have basic knowledge and understanding of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and React. Because my entire focus will be on developing the functionalities with React and Firebase. Alright, so let's take a look at what we are going to build. Alright, so now let's see the demo. This is the landing page where we are displaying ads from Firestore. Also, we can filter ads by category and sort by price. So here, electronics filtered by category electronics and vehicle. Also, we can sort by price. So price high, low. Now ads are being displayed price high to low. And price low. So now it's price low to high. Now let's create a new user. Username and email password 123123 and confirm password so i am now logged in and redirected to home page and authenticated user can mark any ad as favorite or remove from favorite so let's try it this one click on this heart icon and icon changed it's now favorite also, user can see all the ads favorited by him uh, in my favorites. So this is the ad and if I remove it from favorite, remove from here as well. And if I go to my favorites again, no favorite ad. And in profile. So in profile page, we will display uh, user information and also user will be able to upload or remove his profile photo. And on right side, we will display all the ads published by this user. So let's add a profile photo. Edit, upload photo and select photo. So photo is uploaded to Firebase storage and I can also remove my profile photo, remove photo and it's gone and this is the placeholder icon. Now let's create an ad. So go to this cell. So upload image and here user can upload single or multiple images. So let's try this one and now title for the ad. Click create. Add is created and it's here. And also in profile page. This is the ad published by me. I'm logged in as a fan right now. And if I click on this ad, it will take me to the ad detail page. Seller can remove his ad and as well as seller can mark the ad as sold. Show contact info will reveal the contact information. Let me open another window. So if I click on this same ad. Now I don't see the contact information of seller because it's only for uh, authenticated user. And if I click login. To see contact info, let's log in with the user.
Now I'm logged in and redirected back to the ad page. This will be useful if we have so many ads on our site. So if we are viewing an ad upon login, we will be redirected back to the ad page and we don't have to scroll to find that specific ad. And there is one more thing, this chat with seller option. It's not available for the seller, it's only for buyer. So here you can see. Here I am logged in as the seller of this ad. I don't see that option. Now let's chat with the seller and we will click this chat with seller. And here we are rendering seller's name in the ad title. And if seller has image, then we will display it here. So let's send a message. And here for seller, there is an indicator here at chat link that there is a new unread message. So let's click on this link. This is the message from user Farhan. And th this is the ad title. And this is the last message, which is the only message for now. And the background is blue, which represents that this there is an unread message in this chat. So now let's click on this blue background is gone and also the indicator here is also gone because now we have read the message message and the ui updated for both of the users instantly user don't have to refresh the page to view the new message and now you can see blue background and also an indicator here to show that there is a new message. And here we are also displaying the ad information and view ad button which will take to the ad detail page. Here. And also we are tracking the online status of user. This green circle it means that user this user is currently online. And when user goes offline, it will turn to red. So let's log out. And here I am logged in as a fan. So log out. And here you can see it turned red. And it's also real time, just like the messages. We will also implement forward password and reset password functionality. So if I click on forward password, click send. So an email is sent containing password reset instructions. So now let's check email. Here in junk, there is a new email. And this is the reset password email. Click on this link. Now here we can reset password. So earlier it was 123123. 1, 2, 3. So now test 1234. 1, test 1234. 1, reset. And password is successfully reset. And and here if I try to log in with old password 123123 1, log in firewise error wrong password and with new password test 1234 now I can log in also So seller can mark his ad as sold. So let's try it now. Mark as sold. The mark as sold button disappeared and also we are displaying sold here so that buyer knows that product is no longer available. And it's also here as well. And finally, let's try deleting the ad. Okay. 
ad is deleted and redirected to the profile page and there are no ads now. So that was the demo of what we are going to build in this course. And I also talked about what you can expect from this course and what are the prerequisites. Also, every lesson contains the source code up to that lesson. So if you get stuck at any point, you can download the source code of that lesson and compare your code with it. So we will work with Firebase Authentication, Firestore as our database and Firebase Storage to store images. So that was the introduction for this course. And if this sound exciting, then please get enrolled so that we can build this project together.